Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television First Headlines. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq discusses strong relations between the Sultanate and the United Kingdom during a phone call with His Excellency the British Prime Minister. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq receives more cables of greetings on the occasion of the 50th National Day of the Renaissance. The National Cardiology Center at the Royal Hospital succeeds in a cardiac catheter catheterization operation using ultrasound waves. And the new law to simplify litigation procedures aims to support the development of the economy and attracting investments. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq received a phone call at noon today from His Excellency Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. During their conversation, they exchanged cordial talks and reviewed the strong relations between both friendly countries in various fields. His Excellency the British Prime Minister expressed his sincere greetings for His Majesty the Sultan and the Omani government and the people on the occasion of the 50th National Day. He also forwarded his best wishes for His Majesty the Sultan in leading the Omani people towards further progress and prosperity, as well as more development for the relations and cooperation between both countries under the wise leadership of His Majesty. From his side, His Majesty the Sultan expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Excellency the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, along with his best wishes of good health, happiness and for the British people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq received more cables of greetings on the occasion of the 50th National Day of the Renaissance. His Majesty received cables from His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn al Hussein of Jordan, His Excellency President Qais Saeed of Tunisia, his Excellency President Dr. Bashar al-Assad of Syria. His Excellency President Dr. Burham Ahmed Saleh of Iraq. His Excellency President Mahmoud Abbas of the State of Palestine, Chairman of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberation Organization and Chairman of the Palestinian National Authority. His Excellency Michel Aoun, President of Lebanon. His Excellency President Muhammad Wild Sheikh Al Ghazwani of Mauritania. His Excellency President Dr. Ilham Haider Aliyev of Azerbaijan. His Excellency President Dr. Shaukat Mirzi Yoyev of Uzbekistan. His Excellency President Gorbanguli Berdi Muhammadov of Turkmenistan. His Excellency President Maki Sal of Senegal. His Excellency or His Majesty Kegmi K. Sar Nam Giel Wang Chak, King of Bhutan. His Majesty King Nordom Sihamoni of Cambodia. His Excellency President, President Asias Afwerki of Eritrea. His Excellency President Shafiq Javrovich of Bosnia and Herzegovina. His Excellency President Alexander Vucic of Serbia. His Excellency President Nikos Anastasidis of Cyprus. His Excellency President Lazarus Chakwera of Malawi. His Excellency President Khaltama Potaloga of Mongolia. And Her Excellency Katerina Sakilaro Polo, President of Greece. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Shafiq Javrovich of Bosnia and Herzegovina on his country's National Day. His Majesty the Sultan also sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Chan Santoki of Suriname on his country's independence anniversary. Under the auspices of His Highness Sayyid Taymour bin As'ad bin Tariq Al-Sa'id, Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Central Bank of Oman, 
the fourth edition of the Entrepreneurship Award concluded yesterday. Sixteen winners were crowned at the fourth edition of the Entrepreneurship Award, organized by the Public Authority of Small and Medium Enterprises Development in partnership with Oman Tel. What uh, differentiates uh, this award is that uh, after, the win after the winners receive these awards, uh, they continue receiving uh, other form of support and mentorship to further improve their organizations. Uh, the uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem is, is very important for the diversity of the economy, and His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq in his first speech mentioned this importance, and we'd like to take the opportunity to wish all the winners all the best of luck and uh, further growth and prosperity inshallah this is one of the initiatives and um, one of the partnerships that um, uh, the CSR program of Amantel uh, has taken uh, over the last uh, few years one of the most important uh, areas of uh, support is the uh, support for the SME uh, sector this year's edition consisted of Best Entrepreneur Award, Best Home Project, Best Small Enterprise Award, Best Micro Enterprise Award, Best Medium Enterprise Award, Best Finance Award, Best Corporate Support Award, Government Best Supporting Agency, Best Educational Initiative Award, Best Media Initiative Award, and Best Development Initiative Award. This uh, celebration is uh, making me to go on and uh, give uh, more and more and thanks for Riyadh and for all the other uh, supporters who supported us uh, in all of our career. This award is actually it's an encouragement for us to continue our efforts and our innovation and our development of uh, the company and we are looking forward uh, to reach uh, the global market with our products. Riada is something that means a lot to us as a healthcare institution, especially since we are Amani based and starting up from our management down to our reception, everyone that we hire is 100% Omani. And so having the support of our Omani led organization, our Omani uh, Entrepreneurship Award, would mean something very huge to our institution, um, not only for the institution, but I'm sure for our staff members as well. It is worth mentioning that this year's theme of the award was competition and innovation, as these attributes reflect the award's goals of instilling a culture of entrepreneurship within the community, besides strengthening the capacities of SMEs to further compete in the market. The Entrepreneurship Award represents an incentive for the Omani entrepreneurs to exert further efforts to support economic diversification endeavors in line with Oman's Vision 2040 to create a bright future for the country. Salah Bakhalfan Rahbi, Sultanate of Oman, Television, Muscat. For the first time in the Sultanate, the National Cardiology Center at the Royal Hospital recently did a cardiac catheterization operation using ultrasound waves. More details in the following report. Cardiovascular or heart diseases are the number one cause of death globally, taking an estimated 80 million lives each year. This makes their prevention or treatment a very active area of research. One such recently developed treatment is an ultrasound device used to fragment calcium deposits in narrowing arteries. This technique was recently used in the National Cardiology Center at the Royal Hospital to perform two successful operations on patients suffering from hardening arteries due to calcium deposits. As part of atherosclerosis process, um, uh, which leads to narrowing of the coronary arteries, um, what you will get sometimes is, especially in the elderly, diabetic patients, um, and maybe patients with renal um, insufficiency, you can get... Uh, calcium deposition in the walls of the artery. Um, and this is very difficult to fracture and uh, it poses a major challenge uh, when we try to open the artery and uh, put a stent and expand it well. Um, and uh, the end result of that is more um, complications, um, less expansion of the stents will lead to future um, heart attacks and so on. So we want to avoid that and um, we have several um, technologies that we are using. This is the newest of them. It's a very new technology and very promising, uh, very successful. So we use um, 
lithotripsy. This technology was previously used uh, uh, for uh, uh, kidney stones, and now it has been developed into um, a catheter that we can use for, for arteries. Initially, it was used for uh, peripheral arteries, and now, like a few years ago, they moved um, to coronary arteries with improvement um, and more fining of the techniques and so on. So now it's very safe, and we are using it. Uh, we did two cases um, here at the National Heart Center, very successful, and we are very happy with the um, result and the outcome of the um, intervention we have done using this technology. This novel treatment is extremely useful, particularly for cases where usual fragmentation techniques are not possible. We used this balloon in one of our patients. He was very old and he presented with acute myocardial infarction. And he was having two lesions. One was uh, very calcific and the other was less calcific. We treated that one less calcific, but the other one didn't open with the usual balloons. So we gave him another appointment and we brought this technology and we used the uh, lithotripsy balloon for opening uh, this lesion. The lithotripsy helped us to uh, fracture this calcium and it opened the artery well and we were able to put a stent and the patient was very okay and discharged safely from hospital. It is noteworthy that carrying out these rare and advanced operations came as part of a strategy to develop capabilities and apply the latest international medical systems and services in the field of cardiovascular diseases. From 1987, the Royal Hospital continues to provide leading medical care in the Sultanate. The successful operation of intravascular lithropsy in the Sultanate for the first time is evidence of this. From the Royal Hospital, Ahmed Mahmoud al Hanai, Masqal. The new law to simplify litigation procedures constitutes an important step towards speeding up litigation cases and completing them in record time and in support of Oman's Vision 2040 of developing the economy and attracting investments. More details in the following report. The law to simplify litigation procedures comes as a fundamental step in simplifying disputed transactions which requires speedy decision-making to ensure continuous development to achieve complete justice in various cases. The law included disputes related to foreign capital investment, lease contracts, unique labor contracts, building contracts, deeds related to debt establishment and penal cases related to checks. Accelerating the pace of settling disputes related to investments and the economy with the aim of encouraging investment and attracting foreign investments to support and strengthen the national economy. Setting binding dates for the judge to issue a ruling. The use of technology in the judicial work. Following modern methods of announcing judicial papers and in this regard the law permitted the announcement by a written telephone message or by any electronic means of communication capable of saving and extracting it. Granting the settlement report that takes place in the competent labor office between the worker and the employer, the power of the executive document, which would prevent cases of employer abuse, speed up litigation procedures, and protect workers, taking into account their financial and economic situation. Granting the fixed lease contract the power of the executive bond which prevents the lessors from not benefiting from the lease property and achieves stability in such transactions. Accelerating the pace of implementation of judicial rulings, especially in contracting cases and delays in completing buildings and facilities, which threaten the economy and societal stability. Shortening the periods of appeal against judicial decisions. Appeal by way of cassation before the Supreme Court in the event that the value of the dispute exceeds 150,000 Omani Rials in the judgments issued in the investment dispute of the commercial enterprise. 30 articles have been enumerated by the law detailing the procedures of litigation in the most discussed disputes between the corridors of the courts, pushing them to the speed of resolution so that everyone can obtain their rights.
The Ministry of Health announced that the total number of COVID-19 cases registered in the Sultanate reached 122,579, while the total number of deaths reached 1,391. The total recovered cases reached 113,856. The Ministry indicated that the total number of inpatients re reached 250, of which 121 are in intensive care units. Initial readings from the Central Bank of Oman show a recession of the nominal GDP by 13.5% during the second quarter of the current year during to the decrease of the oil sector's value-added activities at the current oil prices by 20% and the decrease of non-oil activities by 10%. While deposits in banking sectors increased by 5% until the end of September to reach 24.3 billion Omani reals in comparison to the value during the same period of last year. Deposits from private sectors increased by 9% to reach 19.4 billion Omani reals. Analysis of traditional banks show an increase of 1% in the credits provided by such banks, while Islamic banking sector shows growth to 4.2 billion Omani reals in the credits provided. Average oil prices during the first nine months reached $47.20 per barrel, while the average daily oil production dropped by 1.8% to 952,900 barrels per day. In response to counter the impact of COVID-19 on local businesses and to support Omani entrepreneurs, the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Investment Promotion launched an electronic shopping platform under the name Marquit X. The platform included over 300 Omani merchants and over 500 national products, dividing into many consumer goods divisions, such as fruits and vegetables, frankincense, Omani honey, electronics and cosmetics, and much more. Marquit X is the first Omani platform that offers a complete and easy to use online shopping experience it aims to market for Omani products and support Omani entrepreneurs by displaying their products and facilities payment of goods and services for their potential customers inside the country and outside. The Public Authority for Social Insurances participated in the 19th GCC virtual meeting for the head of the civil pension and social insurance agencies. The meeting included the discussion of the annual report made from the Technical Committee, the follow-up report on the head of the Civil Pension and Social Insurances Agency's Committee's work plan, in addition to statistical indicators for the unified GCC Insurance Protection Extension Program. Participants also discussed matters concerning workers not registered in GCC Insurance Protection Extension Program and the challenges concerning payment of contributions. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Water Resources announced that the shrimp fishing season in the Sultanate ended and it called on all commercial markets and hotels not to buy any quantities of Omani shrimp starting from the 1st of December 2020. The Ministry also issued a decision banning the abalone catch during the seasons of 2020-2021. The decision includes all the transactions related to transport, sale, purchase and export of abalone. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq discusses strong relations between the Sultanate and the United Kingdom during a phone call with His Excellency the British Prime Minister. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq receives more cables of greetings on the occasion of the 50th National Day of the Renaissance. The National Cardiology Center at the Royal Hospital succeed, succeeds in a cardiac catheterization operation using ultrasound waves. 
And the new law to simplify litigation procedures aims to support the development of the economy and attracting investments. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.